Recently, a new interview came out with the producers of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and Dragon Ball Fighters, both detailing their experiences with working on their respective games and more. And an interesting thing to note is that from the interview, we have an update regarding Dragon Ball Fighters, as well as them teasing a new Dragon Ball games release. First, let's go into the Dragon Ball Fighters update, which is in relation to the rollback netcode. The producer mentions, we are continuing to work on the introduction of rollback netcode in Fighters. I apologize it has taken this long, but we've been hard at work creating a rollback system that meets the quality that everyone has come to expect. As such, I'd really appreciate it if fans would be patient for just a little while longer and continue to give us your support. Also, we at Bandai Namco are continuing to convey the fun and excitement of Dragon Ball in various formats, not only through fighters, but also through the Breakers, Kakarot, and more. We have to make sure all of our games can reach not only 10 million copies shipped, but even more. With that information in mind, I expect that we'll get some info about the rollback netcode in the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour event. And will we'll likely come sometime in 2024. Whether we'll get character DLC is something that I honestly think we can only dream of at this point. Now here's where things get a little bit intriguing. The producer of Dragon Ball Universe 2 mentions, I would also like fans to, under- to understand that we work on these games as a whole, as a team. It's not every title for itself. We are all on the Dragon Ball games team. Everyone works together to make Dragon Ball games that fans can look forward to. Right now we have that new release coming up with Hiroki mentioning, oh yeah, that's right. A new release. Stay tuned for that. Also, we hold the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour event every year and 2024 will be no different. Within the context of this, it's clear that they are not referring to a new Xenoverse 2 or Fighters DLC. They are talking about Dragon Ball Games as a whole here and it seems to be about a new Dragon Ball game. What that game will be? Well, obviously Budokai Tenkaichi 4 or Sparking Zero, however it's called in the US. This makes the most sense since it got revealed in the last Battle Hour event earlier this year and it's Tenkaichi is one of the biggest franchises for Dragon Ball games. We haven't really gotten any official info from them directly since the trailer and it being mentioned that the game's in early development. I really interpret this comment as, hey guys, I know you're hyped for the new Tenkaichi game and while we can't talk much about it, stay tuned type of thing. And they mentioned the Battle Hour event. Like I mentioned in the previous video of mine, the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour event is the biggest event for Dragon Ball games. So if there's an event where they will be talking about the new game, this will be it. Not Jump Festa, nothing else. It's also positive news, I guess, that both producers will play a part in the creation of the new game. How how much input they will have in comparison to Fighters and Xenoverse is another thing entirely. If you think this is referring to some entirely new game that will be released, Aside from Tenkaichi 4, then I don't know what to tell you.